me for a one minute TV. Welcome to the world TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to TV. The kids are here now. The party can start. Yeah, get, get, uh, get started. <laughs> Am I right? Man, I miss y'all. I'm sure you guys remember that I am still on staycation inside my home here. For those of you who are wondering, I've been pretty busy lately. If you're on staycation, you get stuck at home and you don't have anything planned, well, it can get pretty boring. That's right. So that's why I've already mastered the art of pasta making. I built a birdhouse. And I've already memorized every single dance move that's ever been created. This one is called the Rhode Island Rigamarole. But I tell you what, doing all that sure does make me hungry for some chicken nuggets. That's why I made a bunch of them. Hey, Carl, hey, how hey, are you doing? Good, good. Doing all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. Hey, is it okay if I grab that stuff real quick? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Perfect. I'm letting Andy borrow a bag of buttons I have for a little art uh, per, uh, project thing that he's working on. Did you, did you get it? Yeah, did you get it? Yeah, got it. Send it back. You got Appreciate it? you. All right, have a good one. Well, anyways, I think I have a little bit of time to snack a little bit before Jada gets here. Hey, where's my bag of nuggets? Where is it? Where, where's what? What'd you do to them, Jada? Whoa, take it easy. What are you talking about? My nuggets, Shada. I put them down though when I was talking to the kids and Andy came here to get it. <gasps> Andy. Did he take them? Yeah, he took them, that little thief. It's gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on me this last thing I do. Well, let's just take a breath. I'm sure it was an accident. He's gonna have an accident. Easy, Carl. You're right, I'm sorry, that was not nice. It's okay, you guys almost have a Jacob Esau thing going on, huh? Who and who? Jacob and Esau. You remember Isaac from last week, Abraham's kid? Well, Jacob and Esau are Isaac's kids. Twins, actually. Twins? Yep, the story goes that the brothers never really got along well. Even when they were in the belly of the mom, they were fighting. Wow, that is some serious sibling rivalry. It sure was, and the brothers couldn't have been more different. Esau, who was first born, was outdoorsy and a huge hunter, and Jacob was more of a homebody. Hey, kinda like me. That's true. Now, back during these times, the firstborn of families would get something called a birthright. It means that because you were the first to be born in the family, that you would get special rights and blessings that wouldn't be given to the other kids. Really? Huh. So Esau had the birthright. He sure did. But as you can imagine, his brother Jacob was jealous. So that's why one day when Esau came into the house, very hungry and desperate, Jacob saw an opportunity. An opportunity for what? Jacob thought Esau was in such bad shape that he would do anything to feel better. Maybe even give up his birthright. Whoa. So Jacob did exactly that. At the time, he had been making stew, a type of food, and when he saw his brother in so much pain, he offered him some of the stew in exchange for his birthright. Esau, blinded by his hunger, agreed to this, and that's how Jacob took something from his brother that he's had ever since they were born. Just like Andy took my nuggets. Carl? You're right, I'm sorry. But you do have a point. Just like that, something was taken by someone who shouldn't have had it. Jacob tricked Esau into doing something he probably wouldn't ever normally do. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a bummer. I mean, you're supposed to be able to trust your brothers or your friends. Totally. But just like every story from the Bible, we can learn something, you know? Like there will be times where we lose our trust in some people and find it hard to believe others, but that doesn't have anything to do with God. What do you mean? Well, just because people fail us doesn't mean God ever will. We can trust God even when it's hard to trust others. You're totally right. I guess I just- Hey, I am so sorry. I accidentally took your nuggets. I really do apologize about that, man. What's going on? What's going on? Don't. Hey, come here, bud. It's okay. It's all right. You're all right. Okay. You good? All right. Hey, you're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah, man, you're fine. Okay. All right. I'll see you later, bud. All right? Yeah. Love you, buddy. Thanks. Well, it looks like Carl got his nuggets back and all is right with the world again. But before we finish up today, let's talk about our big idea. Today's big idea is we can trust God when it's hard to trust each other. It's so important, so let's shout it out on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. 
We can trust God when it's hard to trust each other. Great job, kids. Thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you for the next episode of Grow TV. See you then. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow